In many parts of Canada, gas prices are on the rise, especially out here on the West Coast. Today I'm going to talk about a vehicle that is fun to drive, save you a little bit of money at the pumps, and it even delivers a bit of utility that I know a lot of people are looking for. This is the Nissan Kicks. It's the smallest of the Nissan utility family, slotting in under the Qashqai in terms of size. Unlike the other Nissan utilities, it's not offered with all-wheel drive. It's a city runabout with better ground clearance, a higher seating position, and a useful shape. The Kicks comes in the S, SV, and what we have here, the top of the line SR model. I think the SV is going to be the one to get because it adds a few tasty upgrades like alloy wheels and some additional creature comforts on the inside. The design is clearly a Nissan with the same shared design language from the V-Motion front grille, boomerang rear tail lamps, and the floating roof design. This top SR trim can be equipped with optional LED headlamps and most models can be ordered with a two-tone paint scheme with a different color on the roof. The SV adds heated seats as well as Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a seven inch digital display in the instrument cluster. This SR trim also gets nice looking faux leather seats and cool Bose speakers in the headrest. This really helps to improve the experience when you're talking hands-free on your phone. Now, speaking of seats, the second row is surprisingly comfortable and there is a lot of cargo space. The only problem is when the seats are folded, they don't fold flat. This is a fun utility vehicle to drive around the city or possibly use as a second car. It's got the small 1.6 liter four cylinder engine matched to the CVT with 125 horsepower that is very popular and seen in many other Nissan products. Here's the thing. You can have a practical utility design like this for moving people and cargo around without paint at the pumps. This Kicks is rated at 7.7 .7 liters per 100K in the city and 6.6 .6 on the highway, all thanks to the small format CVT and front wheel drive. The Kicks uses a torsion beam rear suspension instead of a multi-link design, and the rear brakes are drum, all tried and true technology that also helps to keep the cost down. The engine's a good match for this vehicle, and the ride is different than a car. It's got more of a utility feel to it. You add in the great seating position and commanding front window, and it's a great companion for everyday driving. Safety is covered with standard forward collision warning and autonomous braking, but the top model also adds cross-traffic alert and some other safety features as well. Overall, this is a lot more fun to kind of toss around than a bigger SUV is. There's not a lot of feedback to the driver, but the steering is precise and sharp. The Nissan Kick starts at close to $18,000. The middle SV is $21,000, and the top of the line SR that we have is close to $23,000. If you're in the market for a new vehicle and you want something that gives you a little bit of utility while also saving some money at the pumps, the Kicks has a lot to offer, and it's fun to drive too.